hey what's up guys if you're like me and you just upgraded from the regular Dropbox to one of the versions that have the smart sync you're probably puzzled as to why it doesn't show the folders with little cloud icon like they say on the website so um, a couple things the first one is that you might need to restart the application the right click close Dropbox not your computer just a program and let it restart after it restarts you'll see that let me go to my Dropbox folders from your folder here all the folders are now going to have this uh, option where you right click it'll make it online but you might be saying well how do I get these files to be online they're not showing there how am I going to right click it if it's not even there so what I'm understanding is that the smart sync and the selective sync work in conjunction together I'll give you an example if I go to my Dropbox and I have this folder called accounting this is online but it's not available here in my it should be here so the way to do that would be by by going to the selective sync here finding that folder updating it and you're going to get this dialog box which is a bit confusing it says unselected folders will be removed from your computer's dropbox meaning that anyways all these unselected folders i didn't need on this computer because i needed it selectively synced with this pattern right here but now it says any folders you just selected will be online only so let's see what happens what i'm thinking is that this is after the i click ok that one the smart sync is going to kick in okay so i just clicked ok and it actually just let me click on one let's see what happens So I'm here with the chat people. This is what they said. It says, I can confirm the reason you're not seeing those folders is because you have deselected them from your selective sync settings. If you go to selective sync settings, in the preference menu of application, you will see a list of your folder. Any folders, any folders you don't have, Any folders you don't have, the check marks will not be available in the Dropbox on your computer. If you want to apply the smart sync on them, you will have to check those folders in selective sync. So I think this is what the tutorials should say, that they work in conjunction and you first have to smart sync in order to be able, sorry, you first have to selective sync in order to smart sync. And that makes sense because it is more than likely that you have more files on the cloud than your computer can handle. So you have to go in here first and select what you want. And then from within the folders that you selected, you can then check if you want them online only or not. Now, I don't know if this is a bug or not, but going back to the real life example here, this folder is already checked to be selectively synced, but it did not download. And I can see here that it's set to local only, yet it doesn't have the little icon right here. Let me see if I just, if I refresh. Nope, it still doesn't do it. And here it says that it's up to date. Now if we go inside of the folder, I see all these folders. Which are probably just shortcuts too. Um, if I go one folder up, I see that this does not display the icon either. Maybe I need to actually restart the computer for that, but there you have it. First, do the selective sync, then 
you can do the smart sync. It won't erase any files that you already have, that you have checked on the preferences here. And when you do click on any new files, they will by default be online only files, just like this one that I created here. 